In this installment of my 2017 Makeup Declutter, we are going to go through all of my lip products. So all of the lipsticks, all the lip stains, lip glosses, lip balms, everything that I would put on my lips, we're going to go through it in this video. My goal for this category is to reduce the number of lip products that I have by 40%. It does seem like a very steep number. So if you want to see all the products that I let go of, then keep watching. I have quite a few here and a bunch that I know for sure I am going to be saying goodbye to. I can safely say that I'm going to get rid of a bunch of my drugstore lipsticks mainly because since my last declutter, I have not reached for these. Although they're really great shades, I just don't find myself gravitating towards them. I feel like I've just been reaching more towards my high-end lipsticks, not necessarily because they look better or the formulation is better, although in some cases they are, but because I've spent the money for them, so I feel worse not using a $40 lipstick than I do not using a $5 lipstick. So that's probably why a majority of these have gone unused. These four survived my original declutter. These are from the Maybelline uh, buff collection and these are again really great lipsticks they are a great formulation they're a great color but it's just i don't gravitate towards these at all i've maybe used one of these once in the last 18 or 20 months so i'm just gonna say goodbye to them they are really great colors though and they're also a really nice creamy formula just not for me Out of four of these CoverGirl lipsticks, I am only going to be keeping Eternal, which is this first one. It's that bright fuchsia color. Um, this one is Spellbound, which is beautiful. These are all beautiful for formulations. Um, but this one is a bit too bluey pink for me. I don't really like this color on me right now. Um, and then these two are really gorgeous reds, but I have other red lipsticks that I prefer. So I'm only going to keep this one, which is Eternal. Saying goodbye to this Maybelline Baby Lips, I just never use it. Also saying goodbye to these two Revlon lipsticks, have not used these since my declutter. Um, they are really gorgeous lipsticks though. This color actually reminds me a lot of the Marc Jacobs Boy Gorgeous. So if you are looking for a good dupe for the Marc Jacobs uh, Boy Gorgeous, definitely pick up the Avon lipstick in Radiant Raisin. It just has maybe more of a shiny finish than the Marc Jacobs, but they are so similar. Saying goodbye to the Clinique Chubby Stick. I got this as a Sephora reward perk. I just never use it. Also going to say goodbye to this other Revlon lipstick. It's in a gorgeous red color. It's called Succulent Cherry. Never use it. Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Sultry. And I do like this formulation a lot. And it's something that I wish I used more, but I just never do. So this is gonna be on my maybe, but I'm leaning more towards decluttering it. I really like lip crayons. They apply really nicely and they're just so easy to just throw in your bag and reapply with. But I am only going to keep a couple of these ones. The NARS uh, lip pencils, lip crayons in Cruella. I think I got this as a birthday gift from Sephora. I love this red. It's so gorgeous on. It is this one here. So really pretty and definitely gonna keep that one. I also really love the Bite Beauty uh, lip crayons. This one is in rhubarb. I don't remember if they still make this, but if they do, you have to check them out because they are so good and creamy. I also really like how they are twist up so you never have to sharpen them. And this is rhubarb here. It is my favorite color family. It's kind of a dusty, rosy mauve. I am going to keep the NARS uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dolce Vita. I love the Dolce Vita family. I love this lip pencil, I love the lipstick, and I love the blush, so I'm gonna keep that one. I'm also keeping the Sonia Kashuk Berry Nude Velvety Matte Lip Crayon because I really like the color and I like the formulation. 
So this is what it looks like here. The rest of these I am going to say goodbye to because I just rarely wear them. I don't think I've used this since my last declutter. It is the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Balm in 217. Don't remember if it actually has a name, but it's very sheer. Um, it is very easy to wear. I just don't gravitate towards it, maybe in a different color. I love these Lancome Juicy Shakers. They are so nice to wear. They're so comfortable. They feel great on the lips and they have a nice sheer wash of color. Mango's Wild is a really nice pop of color on the lips. And then Piece of Cake is just an everyday color that I love to wear. I don't remember the last time I really wore this lip gloss, so I'm gonna say goodbye to it. It's the Revlon uh, Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in... I don't remember what it's called, Pink Pop. I don't really remember the last time I wore a lot of these lip glosses. The Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector, I am going to keep because I do like this. This is actually in YouTube. I had to repurchase it. It's one of the glossy lip products that I like to actually use. The Dior Lip Glow Pomade, this is definitely not worth the money. So if you're thinking about this, don't bother because it doesn't do anything for your lips, but I'm gonna keep it because I bought it and it's not like it's horrible, it's just a sheer gloss. Also keeping the YSL, I don't remember what this is called or what the shade is, but it's a really gorgeous like summery peach gloss. I will say goodbye to these three Chanel Glossomers because they're old, I rarely reach for them, especially these uh, shimmery ones. I just don't enjoy these anymore. I was gonna keep this one, but I feel like I'm probably never gonna use it. Although the Chanel Glossomers are a really nice formulation. I think they might've reformulated it since I've had these, but they're still really great glosses. I'm keeping all three of these Burberry lip glosses. These are the only glosses that I've actually used over the last 18 months, and I really like them, and surprisingly, they haven't gone bad yet. So I'm gonna keep these because um, I want to do my best to use them up. Also saying goodbye to this Dior um, Addict Ultra Gloss in number 542 Flash. This one was limited edition, but I rarely wear it, and honestly, I've kind of outgrown the bright orange sparkly gloss. Also going to say goodbye to this L'Oreal uh, Lip Stain. This one is in, uh, in Infinite Fuchsia. I just have not reached for this since, although it's a really great color and this is just right up my alley, but I rarely use it. Okay, that's definitely not coming off anytime soon, but to round out the gloss collection, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake, and this one I actually really like. It also smells really good. Um, it's just like, again, kind of a dusty mauve color. So I have narrowed two full drawers of glosses and lipsticks down to only one. So I think that's a pretty good job. I have a bunch of mini lipsticks here and I'm gonna say goodbye to all five of these, actually all six of these, because I just don't wear them and I forget about them and I originally thought that these lipsticks were a little cute and I was using some of them at some point, but to be honest, um, I always just kind of forget about them. Um, they're really nice colors though. I don't think they still make this lipstick, but if they did, I would definitely pick up the full size of this one. It is the Burberry Lip Velvet in uh, Pink Amber. I actually really, really like this color, but I don't know if they still make it. Um, if they did, I'd buy it. Some more glosses that I'm going to say goodbye to. Um, these are both from Mark. One is the Total Kiss Up Hookup Plumping Lip Gloss. The other one is the Neon Kisses. I just don't reach for these. I haven't reached for them since my last declutter. These two are the Clinique Almost Lipsticks and I forgot I had these in my collection. These both are really great sheer lipsticks, but I just rarely reach for them. Um, I am only going to keep this one, which is flirty, um, but I'm going to say goodbye to Black Honey because, I don't know, I'm kind of over this color nowadays. On to the lip pencils. I have a few lip pencils here. I'm, of course, gonna keep the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. I actually picked up the lipstick in this and I really like it. No Bleeding Lips Lip Liner. This is one of those lip liners that's supposed to help your lipstick from bleeding. And I like this a lot, but I used this one up recently, actually. So I am going to say goodbye to this one. 
I've discovered something and it is that I rarely use lip liners. So I'm only going to keep a couple of these. I don't really need a whole bunch. I'm gonna say goodbye to this one, which is the CoverGirl Lip Perfection in Beloved. It is a really nice color, but I rarely use this. Let me swatch these other ones. Okay, I am going to say goodbye to all four of these Annabelle lip liners. These are the um, just regular lip liners, I guess. Um, but I'm going to say goodbye to these because as you can see from my swatches, they've kind of dried out and they tug a lot on the skin. So I imagine they'll tug even more on the lips. I'm going to keep these other two though from Annabelle. These are the waterproof lip liners because the formulation of these is still really nice. Okay, these are how the waterproof lip liners look. Um, this one is in nude and then the other one is in rosé. So they're actually nice and they apply really nicely. Okay, that is three lipstick drawers down to one. And I still have room in here to play a little bit. Okay, let's talk about these lipsticks. I have quite a few, I'd say these are more of my higher end lipsticks. I like to keep them in this lipstick tray. I don't think I picked up too many new lipsticks since my last declutter, um, but I know that I'm gonna get rid of quite a few of these today just because I rarely wear them. Let's start with these Bourjois liquid lipsticks. These are um, the Rouge Edition Velvets, and I really love this one, which is Grand Accru, but as you can see, it's starting to kind of go a little bit off. It doesn't apply as nicely as it used to, um, especially on the lips. It tends to go all weird and patchy. So that one I'm gonna say goodbye to. This one is still fine. It still applies really nice and smooth. And I still really like the color of this one. This one is in Nudist. The red was in Grand Cru. I was obsessed with these YSL glossy stains for a while there. Um, I haven't used these ones recently though. I think I might say goodbye to one or both of these. Um, I'm going to say goodbye to the pink one, which is number 15. I still do like this coral one and they still apply really nicely. But These are all six of my current MAC lipsticks. I am going to keep uh, syrup, which is this one. I'm gonna say goodbye to Crosswires, which is a beautiful cream sheen lipstick, but it is um, a little bit too coral for me these days. I am also going to keep Lustering, which I thought I was gonna say goodbye to, but now that I've swatched it, I actually really like this color, and it's also a luster formulation, so it's really glossy on the lips. I'm keeping Plumful. It's very similar to Syrup. It's just a hint more pigmented. I'm also going to keep this limited edition uh, MAC and Guillaume Battista Valli lipstick in Charlotte. I do really like this red. I am, however, going to say goodbye to the Riri Wu, which is the retro matte. Um, this one is not in the limited edition packaging, but it has that like embossing on the lipstick tube, but I just rarely reach for this. And between this and the Charlotte lipstick, I prefer the red in the Charlotte. It's a little bit more blue. These are the Chanel lipsticks that I currently have in my collection. I'm going to say goodbye to the limited edition Rouge Allure lipstick in Kensington. I just don't wear these bright bubblegum pink lipsticks these days, so I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. I'm also going to say goodbye to this one, which is the Rouge um, Coco Shine in Monte Carlo. I do like the color, but I have something similar in the Dior Addict formulation, which I prefer, so I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. I am, however, keeping both the Liberté and a romance in the Rouge Coco Shine formula. I just really like them. This one is in Liberté, so it's a really light peach color. And then the other one is in Romance, which is a beautiful sheer pink. 
As I'm doing these swatches, I've decided I'm going to say goodbye to the Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in Sultry. I do like the color, but um, I rarely reach for this. I'm also going to say goodbye to the Lise Watier um, Beze Velours in Love Kiss. This is a liquid lipstick from Lise Watier, and I love this color, but again, I rarely reach for this. Still really love this Lancome um, Lipstick in Love or Rouge in Love lipstick in Violette Coquette. It's just such a great, fun color, and I love the formulation of this. It's so nice. Okay, we only have a few more lipsticks to go through. As I'm going through these, I'm thinking, why do I need so many? But they're all just so pretty in their own right. I'm going to keep both of these NARS lipsticks. Do they still have these lipstick formulations? I don't remember, but these are just the original lipsticks from NARS. Red Lizard and then Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita is a really sheer um, lipstick, but I really like it. It's just great for every day. And then Red Lizard is a really fabulous red, one of my favorite reds. I am going to say goodbye to the Photo Finish Lipstick in Sublime from Smashbox. I like the color, I just never reach for it, so I am uh, just going to pass this along. I do, however, really love the Sephora, what is this called? The Rouge Balm in number B07. I can't remember what the name of this is, but it's a really great sheer lipstick, comfortable to wear, fairly hydrating, and I love the color. And then this last one is the Marc Jacobs New Nudes in Eat Cake, and I love this color. It's just a really great neutral peach color, and it's great for the spring and the summer. These three lipsticks are from Laura Mercier, and they are in the smooth cream, cream smooth lip color. First one is Pesh, which I'm gonna say goodbye to because I just never wear this color, and I feel like it washes me out. It's just a weird neutral for me. It's too uh, light peach for my skin tone. The other one is Antique Pink, and I really like this color, but applied on my lips, it just looks a little bit odd. I will keep Spiced Rose though, because it is almost like a darker version of NARS Dolce Vita, and I happen to really like that color. These are some liquid or fluid lipsticks that I have. Um, the first one is from Smashbox. It is the Always On Liquid Lipstick in Big Spender. This is my favorite color family, so I'm gonna keep that. It's also a really nice formula. I just uh, don't wear it as often as I should. The other one is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Catnip, and I also really like this. It's a bit more purpley. The formulation is nice. I do find it a little bit drying though. These three colors are from the Dior Addict Fluid Stick, I believe. First one is in Whisper Beige, which I'm gonna say goodbye to, just never wear it. The second one is in Mirage, which is a coral, and it's a really beautiful color, great formulation, but just doesn't suit me right now. And then the last one I'm gonna keep, which is in Vertigo, because I love this berry color. These are all fairly sheer lipsticks. The first one here is from Giorgio Armani. It's number 500, I believe, in their sheer lipstick formulation. I love this lipstick. It's still one of my favorites. I love how bright it is, but also how sheer because it's buildable on the lips. Um, the other three I will be keeping also. They are from the Dior Addict um, Extreme collection, which is discontinued. They have reformulated this and also renamed a lot of the shades or discontinued a lot of the shades. The first one is in Plaza, which is a beautiful kind of bubblegum pink. Again, because it's so sheer, um, it actually looks quite nice on. Second one is in Silhouette, which is a perfect um, peachy neutral color. Again, very sheer. And then the last one is in Lucky, which is more of a like berry color.
These are probably my favorite lipsticks because I love the formulation of these two lipstick lines. One is from Hourglass, it's the Femme Rouge Lipstick Collection, and then the other one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's the Matte Revolution Lipsticks. I just love how nice these formulations are. They're actually quite different. So one is more of a matte satin finish, the other one is more of a satin glossy finish. Um, but the top one is Fresco, which is a great everyday neutral color. The second one here is Hourglass in Nocturnal, which is a really beautiful berry shade. These three here are the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipsticks. So we have Walk of Shame and Bond Girl, and I used um, a combination of both of these on my wedding day, and they're just such great colors. Bond Girl is more of an everyday neutral. Walk of Shame has a bit of like a rosy color to it, and then the last one here is Pillow Talk, which I really like. I, like I said, don't really gravitate towards this kind of light pink beige color, but this actually works really nice for my skin tone. I think I made quite a bit of headway in the lip product category. Instead of having three full drawers and also one full tray, I've managed to pare it down to one fairly full drawer and a, a tray that's maybe 80% full. I do love my lip products. I love buying lip products and I love wearing lip products, but the thing about lip products is you can only have so many of them. Now for the final tally, I managed to let go of 54% of my lipstick or lip product collection, which I think is amazing. So more than half of my lipstick collection is gone. I have picked up one product since my makeup declutter and it is the matte shaker from Lancome. I love this. I have been wearing this non-stop lately. This, dare I say it, might be my favorite matte lip color or liquid matte lip color. My heart still belongs to the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution as probably my favorite kind of matte satin lip color, but this is definitely my favorite liquid version and I definitely want to pick up more, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear any of the other shades very often. This is kind of the most neutral one they had of the bunch and I have no regrets picking it up. Um, but surprisingly, I've only picked up one so far. Anyway, don't forget to check out my other decluttering videos if you haven't seen them already. I have one for eyes, for base, and then for cheek products. I hope you guys are enjoying round two of my makeup declutter and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.